Hello! This video tutorial shows you how to use the WISE File Packager. The WISE File Packager is a standalone utility that groups your project sound banks and streamed media files into one or more packages. You can use them to work around some of the limitations related to each platform's file system, including the limit on the length of file names, as well as the limit of the number of actual files. File packages can also help you efficiently manage the different language versions of your game, as well as downloadable content that is made available post-release. The basic workflow for creating file packages is as follows. The first thing you need to do is generate the sound banks for your project. Once this is done, you can import information from the sound banks info XML file into the file packager. The next step is to create the various packages that you want. Then, you can either create default assignments that automatically assign files to packages or manually assign them yourself. Once all of the files have been assigned to a package, you can then edit the file order. When you are happy with the file order within each package, you can go ahead and generate them for integration into your game. Now that you have a basic idea of what you can do with the file packager, let's take a closer look using an example. For this example, we have already generated the sound banks for our project. So let's start by opening the file packager. Before moving on, let's save this session now as a project, just in case we want to come back to it at a later time. Now that the project is created, let's load the SoundBanks Info XML file into our project. The SoundBanks and streamed media files from our WISE project are loaded into the Files to Package list. The next step in the process is to create the various packages that we will need for our game. For this example, we will create four packages, one for weapons, one for music, and two others for our voice assets in English and French. Before creating our packages, notice that a default package already exists and that it already contains all of our sound banks and streamed files. Although you can delete or rename this package, you may want to leave the default package as is and create new packages for your game audio content. By keeping the default package empty, you can easily keep track of any new content that is added to the project by automatically routing the content to this package. So now let's create the four packages we need for our game. To create them, simply click the Add button and then name them Weapons, Music, English, and French. As we mentioned earlier, you can populate your packages manually by dragging individual files into a package or by using the file assignment system. Let's take a look at the file assignment system. To reduce the amount of time it takes to populate a package, the file packager contains a series of assignment rules that allow you to automatically assign files based on their type to specific packages. For example, you can assign all sound banks and or streamed media files that have the English language tag to the English package. For our example, let's assign all the English and French sound banks and stream files to their respective packages. To make sure that all files are assigned to a package, you can create a default assignment for all remaining sound banks and streamed files. For our example, Let's assign them to the weapons package. Now that the automatic assignment rules have been set, we can fine-tune the contents of each package by manually adding or removing individual files. For our example, we need to assign the music sound bank and its corresponding streamed files to the music package. Notice how there are no files currently in this package. Let's manually add the music sound bank to the music package. 
When adding a sound bank to a package, you have the option to include just the sound bank, just the streamed media files, or both. Since we want to include both, we will set the inclusion mode to all files. Notice how the numbers in the added and resulting columns are updated automatically. We added the one sound bank file and it contains references to five other streamed music files. You can view the entire contents of the currently selected package by clicking on the resulting contents tab. If you like to keep a record of the contents of each package, you can copy the package list to the Windows clipboard and then paste it to an external application like Excel. The File Packager doesn't arrange the files within a package in any particular order, but in certain cases, you may want to order the files manually. For example, you may want certain files within the package to be close to each other to minimize disk seeking during gameplay. To order these files manually, select a package and then click the Edit File Order button. The files within the package are displayed in the File Order Editor. Since ordering all files within a package can be time-consuming and unnecessary, the File Packager allows you to arrange only those files that require ordering. To handle this, all files that are not explicitly added to the ordered list are automatically added to the package using a placeholder called Remaining Files inserted here. In our example, we want the stream files to be ordered from 0 to 4. To do so, simply select the five files and then drag them to the file order view. Note that when you manually add a file to the ordered list, the file packager automatically removes the file from the placeholder. To order the files, just drag them into the correct order. Now that all our packages are created and the file order has been defined, we are ready to generate our file packages. File packages are saved as .pck files in the platform folder of the generated sound banks folder. You can save them elsewhere if you want by specifying a location in the output directory field. To generate our packages, simply click Generate All Packages. The package files are generated and saved within the specified output folder. These package files are now ready to be included on your game DVD. You can automate the generation of your file packages by using a command line or adding the package generation process as a post sound bank generation step. The complete list of arguments that can be used within the command line is available in the help. That's it! You now know how to package your sound banks and streamed media files into file packages. For further information, tips, and best practices, refer to the Managing File Packages section of the WISE help.